Hi guys, today I'm going to teach you the basics of trigonometric ratios. So trigonometry here means the triangles. These are the triangles. Metric. The word metric is measurements. And ratio, when we say it is ratio of the sides. sides of triangle. So one thing should be kept in mind that trigonometric ratios are applicable only for the right triangles. So when we say right triangles that means one angle has to be 90 degree. So this angle is 90 degree or we say this as right angle and the side opposite to this is always the hypotenuse. So this angle is 90 degree, the side opposite to this is hypotenuse and the ratios which we use are used as so katua. So it is so ka tua where S. S stands for sine C. Here the C stands for cosine. This T is tangent. This O is the opposite side. This H is hypotenuse this A is adjacent side so in a right triangle always the hypotenuse is the side opposite to 90 degree or right angle so we have to identify which is the opposite side and the adjacent side so other than 90 degree there are two angles so for each angle we have to write the opposite and the adjacent side differently. So now we take one case in which this angle is 90 degree that means this one is hypotenuse and for this angle theta we take it as theta side opposite to this angle theta we will mention it as opposite side and in the right triangle when this one is the hypotenuse this is opposite side the third remaining side will then be taken as adjacent now the formula which we have written here so cut over so how it has to be used so for this one we write sine theta this angle is theta here so we'll mention theta here is equal to this is O O stands for opposite side and H is hypotenuse so sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse then the next one ka so it is C A H so it is which is cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse then the third one toa so it is tangent theta is equal to O opposite upon A is adjacent now for any right triangle we take the right triangle as this one in which if two sides are given, we can find the third side using Pythagoras theorem. So how Pythagoras theorem is used? We mention these as A, B and C. So Pythagoras theorem is C square is equal to A square plus B square. Or we can write hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides. 
so remember this will be used quite often because whenever two sides are given third side can be used uh, third side can be found using the formula c square is equal to a square plus b square so now we take the triangle in which this is 90 degree so this one is hypotenuse and we write this as 5 this is 12 and third hypotenuse is not given to us and this is the angle theta here so you have to find out sine cosine and tangent theta for this so for use for finding out sine cosine and tangent we require the two sides as well as the hypotenuse so for finding this hypotenuse we use the Pythagoras theorem so using this we can find out h square is equal to 12 square plus 5 square so h square is equals to 144 plus 25 so it is 169 so h will be square root of 169 which is equals to 13 that means h is equals to 13 so we have found this side as 13 that means for this angle theta the opposite side is 12 so the we write opposite as 12 hypotenuse is 13 and the third side this is the opposite and we can write the third one then the adjacent so adjacent side is 5 so finding out the ratios now using Sokotoa so it is sine of this angle theta this is opposite upon hypotenuse so what is the opposite here it is 12 and hypotenuse is 13 next it is ka so it is cosine theta or we write this as cosine theta is equal to a adjacent upon hypotenuse so what is the adjacent side here it is 5 and the hypotenuse is 13 then next is toa so tangent theta is opposite upon adjacent so opposite side is 12 upon adjacent is 5 now we take the second case in which the angle this angle is given to be theta earlier we have taken the case in which this side of the angle was theta now we take this angle is theta so opposite to 90 degree is the hypotenuse so for this case the side opposite to theta is this one so this is the opposite side now in this triangle the third remaining side will be taken as adjacent side now remember which angle is given according to that you have to mention the opposite and the adjacent side hypotenuse will always remain the same now we take the example in this case this is the 90 degree angle the two sides let us say this is 4 and 7 so we have to find out Sokotoa from here so this side is not given to us it is the unknown so using Pythagoras theorem we can find out and the angle theta has to be taken as this one now first using Pythagoras theorem so we write this one side as let us say take this as A this is B and this one is C so it is a square plus b square is equal to c square first we'll find the side b so it is a is 4 so it is 4 square plus b square is equals to 7 square so b square 4 square will be 16 so it is 49 so b square is equals to 49 minus 16 so b square is 33 
or from here we can write b as square root of 33. Now that means the third side we have found it is square root of 33. Now for this we have to find out the Sokotoa. So opposite to theta this is the side 4 so we write for this triangle the opposite side is 4 hypotenuse is 7 and this is the opposite side so the third remaining side will be the adjacent side so adjacent side is square root of 33 so using Sokotoa we find sine of angle theta this is equals to opposite upon hypotenuse so it is opposite is 4 upon hypotenuse is 7 then ka. so it is cos cosine theta or cos theta this is adjacent upon hypotenuse so adjacent side is square root 33 upon hypotenuse is 7 then to a so it is tangent theta this is equals to opposite upon adjacent so it is opposite side is 4 upon adjacent is square root 33 whenever square root is there in the denominator so we rationalize it so we multiply and divide by square root of 33 so the result is 4 square root 33 divided by 33 so this way you can find out all the ratios using the method Sokotoa. So guys, hope you like the video. If you have liked the video, give a big thumbs up. Thank you and bye-bye.